We're at the Experimental Farm in St. John's. We're gonna learn all about balloon launches. There are 62 balloons, over 1,100 across the world that are launched every single day, no matter the weather. Only exception is lightning. Now I'm joined by Carla Hartley. She's a Senior Meteorological Technician for Environment and Climate Change Canada. She's gonna show us all about it. So this is the balloon here. Can you tell me what it's made out of? They are made of natural latex. When we blow it up, it will be about, say, a meter, meter and a half, or up to two meters uh, big. As it goes up, it, it continues to increase and increase in size until the end of the flight when it busts. We're going to use what to fill it up? <laughs> we are going to use hydrogen. We have a hydrogen generator on site, so we use hydrogen to fill up the balloon. Um, uh, how much actually depends on the weather conditions. Um, if there's precipitation outside, then you know you might want to put a little bit more in just because we, we're aiming for a certain ascent rate. Today, I'm going to put in a thousand grams of hydrogen. So this right here is the radio sign. So this is what is attached to the balloon. This has sensors in it for temperature and humidity and this will give us real-time data everything as this is going up it will send back all the information to our grounding station inside and this is how we get all the information from all the parameters as it's going up through the upper atmosphere and what are the parameters that you're measuring today today we're, uh, we'll be measuring temperature and pressure and humidity and the winds so the balloon is ready to launch now. It's gonna go up about 35 to 40 kilometers up in the atmosphere, pretty much right to the edge of space before it pops. And then it will start to send back the information that it reads in real time. You got it? Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> ready? Yeah. What happens when it continues to go up? How big does it get? So as the balloon goes up, it continuously gets bigger up until almost seven meters or more, where then it will pop, which is seven meters almost as big as a van. And then once it pops, it will descend back down. And we have put stickers on them. So when you read the sticker, there's a phone number in that. So if anybody does happen to find one, they can always um, call the number on the sticker, which is on the sand itself, and then uh, they'll let you know how to dispose of the radio sand, if one is found. And how long does it take to pop? Um, it takes about an hour and a half to, for it to go all the way up and to, to reach. That all also depends on the winds and the, the uh, conditions up there as well. You can see the data coming in here. This is called a sounding. The temperature, the pressure, and the humidity is all coming in here now. And we can go over to the GPS and you can see all the signals that it's picking up, all the satellites. So it's 10 of the 11. We need at least four in order for it to uh, work properly. So now we can sit here and watch until the uh, balloon pops. So all of this data here gets put into supercomputers that use complicated mathematical equations that create the weather models that I use every single day. They're also used for things like drought conditions to monitor drought conditions, uh, potentially air quality, as well as river levels. <laughs> 